The auto fill feature is used to put little drop down arrows next to each label for your column that you can go ahead and sort your records by that field. And to turn it on, just go ahead and click anywhere within your database. And then come up here on the Home tab to the Editing group, click on the Sort Filter drop down arrow, and there's Filter. Or you can click on the Data tab, go to the Sort and Filter group, and there's Filter as well. When you click on it, adds these little drop down arrows next to your column labels. And if it's cutting it off or hiding part of it, then come up here in between the two column headers, E and F in this case, until you can see arrows pointing in opposite directions. Then just click and drag to stretch it open until you can see, okay, the name for that column. Now we saw this when we converted our data range into a table. By default, it adds the auto filter option. If you don't want to convert it to a table, hey, good news, you can go ahead and add the filter option to your database as long as it's built correctly as we went over in the previous training video on sorting. Now to go ahead and do some filtering, like for the benefits, click on the drop down arrow and unselect all and say you just want to find those employees who have medical benefits. Check M, click okie dokie, and notice over to the left hand side, you've got instead of in black for the row headers, you have it all in blue because it's eliminating or hiding those records that doesn't meet the condition or criteria that we set here for the benefits. So you can see it goes from 4 all the way to 8, and then from 8 to 11, then from 11 to 21. So we're missing quite a few of them that don't have medical benefits. Now when you notice that over to the left hand side and you're like, hmm, I wonder which field is being filtered, because let's say that it was like this when you got the database. You just have to look up here on any one of these triangles that are pointing down and you're looking for a funnel or the filter icon, you can see it's right there. So you can go, oh, it's this one that's being filtered. So we can go ahead and click on it, go down to say that we want to see all of them, click OK, and we're back to where we started. Now let's go ahead and do some additional or custom filtering. Let's do it for the rate, click on the drop down arrow, go down to numbers filter, and let's say that we want something that's less than, you can see is less than $50. Now down below you get the option with and or or and we talked about that, the functions that is, in an earlier training video and it's the same here. So right now it just has to meet this condition, it's got to be less than 50. Or you can say and, click on the drop down arrow, let's say it has to be is greater than $25. So now we got multiple criteria here, less than 50 but greater than 25. And then you get the or option, meaning that it can be either or, it meets this condition or that condition, which wouldn't make sense with this one because if we selected or, then we'd say if it's less than 50, which goes all the way down to 1, or is greater than 25, which can go all the way past 50 in any case. doesn't work for this example, but the and does. So let's click OK and see if it checks out. So is it less than 50 but greater than 25? Yes, it checks out. And then we can do additional filters on top of this one. Let's say that their hours that they're working this week or each week has to be number filters. Let's do less than 40 and then go ahead and click okie dokie. Oh, that narrows it down. So between 50 and 25, less than 40 hours a week. And let's say for the benefits, they have, let's unselect that both dental and medical and click okie dokie. And okay, we narrowed it down. So those who aren't earning more than 50, but more than 25 and not working as many hours have both dental and medical. And maybe we're doing this because we're trying to uh, cut back on some costs. And so those who aren't working 40 hours a week, we'll have to get them to pay for their dental and medical and not have us cover it. And maybe that's an entirely different database. But in any case, when we're done, you can go ahead and click on the drop down arrow next to each funnel and select all. Or you can go ahead and say clear filter from Ben. But if you have a lot of the filters applied and you want to not go down each filter to clear it out, then just come up here if you're on the Data tab to the Sort and Filter group and click on Clear. Or if you're on the Home tab, go to the Editing group, click on Sort and Filter, and select Clear. It clears out all the filters, and we're back to where we started. And then if you want to remove the Auto Filter options, then just go back to where you turned it on and deselect it. So if it's on the Home tab, go to the Editing group, click on the drop-down arrow for Sort and Filter, and deselect Filter and it clears them out. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.